Seven years old, I smoked pot for the first time. I got kicked out of school my freshman year in high school. It just became a, a life full of drugs. We were at a city park, sitting there smoking pot, and the old man, he'd been working on the church the whole summer. One of my brothers decided to throw a rock at the old man. Instead of hitting him, he, hit, he broke out a window in his church, and that got the old man's attention. He walked across the street. We were, you know, cussing at him and telling him bad things, and he kept coming. He basically just asked us a simple question. He said, which one of you boys did that? And we, we laughed and mocked him. His response to that was, God loves you, Jesus loves you, and I love you. As he was walking off, uh, we hit him with a brick in the back and knocked him down to the ground, and he got up, turned back around and came towards us. He asked us the same question again in tears, you know, which one of you boys did that? And none of us answered him. And after that, he still told us that God loved us that Jesus loved us and he loved us. I was expecting him to say, you know, hey, I'm gonna call the cops, I'm gonna, you know, like revenge, but he didn't. His name was Brother Van Meter. He lived about a block away from us. He started reaching out to us. He just cared to me. That was, that was the difference, that he cared. He um, actually ended up mentoring me. And hanging out with him was, it was almost like hanging out with, with the Apostle Paul. He was real bold. I got saved October the 20th, 1984. I was about to go party when my brother invited me to go to church. I said, well, I'll go with you for a little bit. I got saved Saturday night and I didn't go party. I went home, got rid of everything, all the drug paraphernalia, everything that I had. I went to my cousin's house and I told him what God had done in my life. I got done with my cousins. I went to my grandmother's house. I, I witnessed to my grandmother, to my grandfather. Then I went to my uncles, to my aunts. Probably within the first week, I talked to all my relatives. I haven't stopped since, you know, I, I, I've been going ever since. When I moved to Abilene in 1985, I knew that I had to continue doing what I had been taught for the last four months. We train people to find a, a spot where there's lost people and talk to them about Jesus Christ and go hit it consistently week after week after week. We've been going to the same clubs since 1985. We go to the local high schools, talk to kids. Wednesday, we're at the bus station, all the home football games. Halloween night, we go down to 6th Street in Austin. It's a wild place. This year alone, you know, our ministry's handed out over half a million gospel tracts. You know, God's good to us. And I look at the way I was, you know, when Brother Van Meter crossed our path. What if he wouldn't have shared his faith? You know, what would have happened then?